My name is Captain Nicholas Van Tolder. I am the Civil Military Support Element Ghana team leader coming out of 91st Civil Affairs Battalion in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. All right, so the Civil Military Support Element Ghana is the Special Operations Civil Affairs Element in for the country of Ghana and our mission here is to do uh, two main things, what we call civil reconnaissance and civil engagement. So we are getting out into the communities and into the countryside of Ghana to engage with local communities, local leaders uh, and institutions in order to identify those uh, concerns among the population, what we consider civil vulnerabilities and civil grievances so those are uh, concerns among the population and their leadership that might make them vulnerable to VEO, so violent extremist organization, uh, recruitment and expansion uh, into Ghana and the northern regions of Ghana specifically. Yeah, so the small picture of what happened yesterday is uh, my civil military support element team in conjunction with a team of reserve civil affairs soldiers from the 404th uh, and the civil affairs planning section from CTAF AF uh, came together to coordinate a medical civic action program in the town of Kariga, which really achieved two different purposes. One, it provides medical support using AFRICOM assets to uh, address medical concerns in the community and uh, fill some of the gaps in local medical capability that exist uh, on the Ghanaian side. And then the second uh, objective is my civil affairs team was able to be present and to engage with local leadership. So we had uh, conversations with several of the local chiefs uh, Fulani groups and minority populations as well as members of the police uh, and local government in order to discuss those civil vulnerabilities and grievances in the district of Karaga and uh, some of the issues that have been leading to communal violence in the region. Yeah, that's a great question. So what we're able to do here is by demonstrating one way in which the United States builds relationships with local communities and local leadership, which is medical civic action programs. We can demonstrate to the Ghanaian Armed Forces um, the importance of building ties with local communities and civil institutions in order to <clears throat> in order to facilitate their own missions and operations aimed at countering violent extremism. So the local community is where violent extremists uh, take root and receive their uh, funding and support and shelter, which is critical to their operations. So being able to have ties to the local community that can help the Ghanaian Armed Forces counter those extremist organizations is, is key to their mission of securing the country. Yeah, this is a fairly new initiative. Ghana has for a long time been an island of stability and security in you know, coastal West Africa. And they continue to be you know, a very professional and capable uh, nation and military specifically. Uh, so what we'd like to do is be able to reinforce their success uh, by helping them develop their civil military operations and civil military professionals within the Ghanaian Armed Forces so they can continue to be that stability, that island of stability. Uh, and they can set the example the way they have done for a long time for the region uh, and hopefully export their stability, export their success uh, throughout the region. The U.S. has had a very long and strong partnership with Ghana. 
Uh, it goes back many decades and has branched out across military, medical, political spheres. Uh, it's been successful in all of those, which is why we're able to be here uh, today and work so closely with their armed forces. Um, so, you know, the United States gains from having a stable and prosperous partner in West Africa. Yeah, so African Lion is a large multinational uh, exercise hosted by uh, Southern European Task Force Africa. Uh, it involves a number of countries conducting exercises across West Africa, and this is one of the first years in which Ghana has been involved. Uh, so this year, we've had a number of shared training exercises between U.S. and Ghanaian forces, working on things like border security, uh, engineering skills, um, maneuver, basic infantry maneuvers, and in this case here, civil affairs and medical outreach. Um, so it's been from this small portion that we witnessed this week, a very successful exercise that showcases you know, the professionalism and talent of the Ghanaian Armed Forces and the opportunity for both of our militaries to learn from each other's expertise and professionalism. The medical team overall was able to, saw a lot of hypertension, um, malnourishment, particularly within the, the, the children, and um, a variety of other common illnesses and, and complaints. Uh, so they were able to provide general medical care and uh, essentially a, a first step of uh, initial care. And, and then uh, the Ghanaian medical team was also there to be able to provide their standical, stand, standard level of medical treatment. They were able to provide care to roughly 285 uh, people within the town of Karga, so that's a, a pretty big accomplishment and within the words, in the words of the local member of parliament, a uh, historic event. So.